Hello everybody and welcome back to Surviving Mars, where we are waiting 15 more hours for our founder stage to end. And then we are going to bring in more people. And our people are Earth sick. But a huge amount of our problem is just that we're a bit overbuilt right now for our number of people that we have. So yeah, that's going to need to change. This rocket should be fully fueled by the time we have the other rocket ready to come in. I hope. <laughs> that would be nice anyway. We have a drone heavy load over here. In that, uh, I think we only have one drone assigned to this guy. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give him, like, all of these drones. These seven drones. There we go. Now the commander has eight drones, and that should help. Because we don't need these drones just sitting around over here. When they could be being put to work. We should be good on power, theoretically. And only five more hours until the Founder stage is done. How are we going on this flatten project? It's going okay. We're certainly making progress anyway. One more hour, and then the Founder stage is over. Zero more hours, apparently. Okay, Founder Stage is over. Or not? There we go. This will go down in history. The long-time dream of the human civilization as a whole, to settle another world, has come true. To be among the people who made this happen makes me feel enthusiastic and proud. We're already swarmed with applications for relocation on Mars, and the wanderlust and enthusiasm of these people makes me proud to be a human being. The Red Planet continues to be inhospitable and even dangerous, but we as a species had always displayed the ability to adapt and improve. The adverse conditions will only make us try harder. So I say bring it on. The colony has been evaluated positively. Additional colonists can be called from Earth. I mean, we only had a large series of crises. <laughs> Let's do a passenger rocket. And I want this to be relatively heavy on the geologists and botanists. Bringing in a medic would be okay. Let's bring in a geologist and a botanist cuz we need we need food and we need people willing to do mining. But also a couple of no specializations is okay. Because we need people willing to, like, run the diner and such. So the other thing that we could maybe grab here is an additional botanist. And we'll go ahead and launch that. Okay. So once that rocket gets here, hopefully this one will be gone by then. We only need 25 more fuel, so I'm pretty sure it will be. And then we'll bring in our new people. And once that happens, we should have a pretty substantial change... We do want some moisture evaporators up, and I want them away from here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a moisture evaporator here, as well as a moisture evaporator right down here. Might as well use those blueprints, though, and start stocking up on the, on the water, rather than being negative on the water. Now, these are not going to be producing very much, because there's not much atmospheric water on Mars right now. But that's something we will be changing later on. And yeah, these guys are producing 1.1 water per soul right now. Actually, 4.2 water per soul. It's interesting. However, we're still not producing more than is demanded. Because we actually have our tanks full. Okay. Now, this guy has failed. We need metal for that. It's a bit of a problem. Yeah, we need metals. In fact, we need a lot of things. 
Buildings are starting to fail again. Like, for example, this rare metals extractor, which we need to produce components. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue, to be sure. Well, this rocket will be fully fueled very soon, and then we're only going to need 30 fuel in total. So I think realistically, we're okay. We're just going to need to get one more supply mission in very quickly here. But we'll have some fuel stored up by the time we're ready to uh, land this. Maybe. Maybe not. But we definitely need this guy to launch off ASAP. He needs two more fuel. We're not quite ready to bring this guy in yet. Passengers will die if the rocket doesn't land within 119 hours, but that's okay. We're going to be launching this rocket very shortly. And we want it to land on this pad. Okay, there goes the rocket. Excellent. And as soon as that rocket is gone... Come on in. Okay, and now we'll start refueling this one ASAP. We already do have about three fuel. Have arrived. Colonists are departing. Experimental rocket. A new rocket engine has been developed by our sponsor on Earth. We've been offered the dubious honor of testing the first prototype. Uh, that does sound too risky. We do have colonists leaving, apparently. I don't know how they're leaving. Research. Research complete. Okay, we got Logi Fungi researched. That's good. Utility crops. Provide oxygen and improve soil quality. Interesting. Interesting. Let's go ahead and take the uh, Roser Dover for right now. As well as transport optimization for now. I mean, a lot of these are just filler. Like, we'll just queue up something along the lines of that. Okay, we need this rocket fueled ASAP. So we have 19 colonists here. We do have some colonists that want to depart. And uh, I don't know how exactly to do that. Like, how to allow them to depart. If that's even possible. I mean, I imagine it is. Well, we should have 24, right? So they already departed. Yeah. Interesting. They must be on this rocket, then. But where? I don't know. But they, they got on this rocket and they're planning on heading back. Presumably. Okay, so we need to hop into the planetary view and see if anybody is willing to offer us any medals. We will send 50 medals in exchange for food. No. 50 machine parts in exchange for metals. No, that's not an option for us. No, not technologies, actually. Um, I wanted to initiate trade. Oof. Polymers for metals. That's not really what we need. Okay, so... I guess it is what it is. So there are planetary anomalies over here. Research progress, new technologies, resources. That would take six crewmen, though. That's kind of a lot. We could import some greenhouse gases. But, I mean, I think for right now, 
we have to send this back to Earth and resupply again. I want this rare metals extractor staffed. Nothing over here appears to be, though. And yeah, overall, we need metals above all. So, what does it take to construct a... I mean, we need a dome to, to extract metals. The other thing that we could potentially do is harvest some surface metals somewhere. Like here. There's a bunch of metals right there. Go. We need those metals. And then the underground metals over here are... 646. So that'll keep us going for a good long time. But this'll, this'll be enough for now. There's another 52 over here. We're fine on the metal front for now. I want you guys to gather these metals. I want you guys to as well. Okay, uh, realistically, I think we need to move the drone commander over here. And then let's see, where is our radius? Right there? Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and put up a storage, a universal depot, right here. Like that. And then we would move that over to the universal depot. So we're ready to launch Caladrius 1, and we're going to do that Sector immediately. Scan. Because we are going to be needing machine parts and polymers, primarily. That said, if we can get this thing repaired, but that requires machine parts. So yeah, we need machine parts and polymers, above all. We're lacking power now. Did our sterling generators fail again? No, they did not, but they will. Yeah, we definitely need more power production. Now, this dome is currently without life support. Um, is there anyone that's actually living there? Not currently. So that's fine right now. It won't be fine, but it is fine for now. And this water extractor malfunctioned again, too. We really need the machine parts. I mean, realistically, what we really need is this factory online. But for that, we need workers over here. I'm going to go ahead and put up a pad, a landing pad. Uh, what was that under? Infrastructure? Yeah. I'm gonna put up a landing pad. Right over here. Ooh, these angles are awkward. The angle is very awkward. I can't actually rotate it to be correctly oriented. Feels bad, man. I guess we'll have to put it up there. Okay, well that's going to cost only concrete, so that's not a problem. And then, realistically, I want this guy to be a little further this way. Yeah, about like that. So that they can reach up over here and take that to the Universal Depot. Excellent. Okay, so we are now charging our batteries. Not very much, but we're charging our batteries. Like, realistically, at this point, we definitely need at least one more large solar power panel. And I'm going to put that up over here. Ah, uh, there's actually one there already. I'm going to put one up somewhere where there isn't one. That'll do. I mean, there kind of already is one there, but there kind of is. 
but there kind of isn't. I'm also going to put up one there. Because we need more power. There's no doubt about that. So let's use some of these fancy surface metals Best that we're gathering. Achieved. Marvin the Martian. Oh, the first Martian born. Nice. I like it. That's a lot of fireworks for one Martian born. Why are they launching it out of this dome? There's no one there. <laughs> That's a little confusing. Anyway, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we'll see if we can stabilize this colony a little bit. In the meantime, subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.